Hey everybody! In today's video, we're gonna try week 7 of Friday Night Funkin'. If you like Friday Night Funkin', please try other games as well. Like, please, okay? Like, Friday Night Funkin' has a ton of content right now, but you could go with even more content with other running games. Please check out the rest of my videos on my channel. <laughs> okay, that's a horrible way to start a video. Okay, before we start, um, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. It's year 2021, and you really don't want to be using any public Wi-Fi at Starbucks or outside without a VPN. And with NordVPN, your connections are encrypted and passwords are locked, so nobody but you can get into your accounts. NordVPN is a VPN with over 5,400 superfast servers in 59 countries, and it even works in China. If you're not a sucker for privacy, which honestly you should be, you can use a VPN to gain access to shows and websites or game servers outside your region. Netflix show not available in my country? Oh no! But with NordVPN, I am now Canadian. Go to nordvpn.com slash tokaku or use code tokaku to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount today. And now, back to the video. I'm gonna lay down a couple things. I have not seen week 7 and people are saying that there is options or settings now in the game which I want to check out. Honestly, if, if week 7 like doesn't give me new stuff, I wouldn't be too interested to be honest. But since there's uh, settings in the game now, I am interested enough to try. Yeah, apparently week 7 did release and it crashed a Newgrounds servers. So I'm not sure whether Newgrounds is back up. Let's go! One thing I heard about the web version of Friday Night Funkin is that the frames are not capped at 60. I heard that in the original version which we played, right, the cap at 60 frames per second doesn't happen on the web version. I don't know if this is a thing they have fixed in the game download itself, that it will run over 60 frames per second, or the unlimited frame rate right now is still limited to the game itself. Alright, let's go. Enter. Okay, so we have to play free play first, because if not, it's broken, right? There's options. <sighs> okay, let's see. Preferences, what's this? What's this? They have down scroll. You know what? I'm impressed now. I'm impressed. What's auto pause? Controls? Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Very nice. Login. Um, did I actually press something? Oh. Oh. Okay. Let me just put it back. Guys, I broke the game. Why is this on? Okay. I didn't know that was possible. Playing Friday at Funkin' at 3 a.m. This is what happens. <laughs> oh, they show the icons. This is really useful for knowing which level is which. Okay. Ugh. What's this? Oh, oh my god, you... Wait, it's out. It's, it's working. Uh. Wait, where's the sick and everything? what my score is because the sick and everything counter is on the top. It's being blocked by the health bar. The chat was alright actually, and the game broke again guys. The sounds, they don't sound correct. Oh, okay, it's back. Okay. But let's see this. It was kind of hard to tell whether I was hitting sick or missing. I didn't hear any of the missed sounds. I don't think I was missing anything. Uh, the inputs feel better, but it could be because of the better FPS. Let's go. Yeah, like the health bar was kind of blocking the sick and everything. It's kind of hard to see from the corner of my eye. The animation for the guy dancing is much better than the previous weeks, I noticed. Okay, let me see if this matches my keytap sounds. Guys, 
Guys, am I hitting six? It's on time. Did he fix the offset? They might have fixed the offset. I'm going to need to try milk later. I am so curious. I want to know what the the hit timing windows of this is. really hear this one following the music though. Okay, the charting is still a bit weird. It's not terrible, but it's, it doesn't feel like it fits. Rolling times, but holy, this actually sounds good. I don't know, I, I don't feel like the, the song bangs as much as week 3 though. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sure a lot of people love the newer songs in week 7, but like, I don't know, move is different. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's been fixed. The, the inputs are fixed. That's... that's good. Oh, Pico's on the team. That's really cool. Oh, you're holding the girlfriend. They're so cute! Kinda like the dad and the mother, right? Oh, was that Pico's voice? Oh, I hit a good. Oh. I see. Uh, I see mispressed there. There goes my combo. Oh, that part was pretty nicely charted, I think. Okay. What do I think? All right. Wait. Actually, what happens if I do try the cutscenes? Let's try story more. Let's see what happens. If I'm not wrong, it's broken right now, so... Okay, let's try this. I think it's broken. Let's see. It's broken. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. Whoops. Alright, so I'm gonna do a bit of testing because I want to test a couple of things. So, it looks like the inputs are fixed and that's really good. But they kept the anti-mashing. I'll keep playing the new version. Is this servers are down? Uh, well, I found the mirror. So that's why story mode isn't working right now, guys. If you want to see the, the cutscenes, it's on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to test how far the mashing goes. 
Because I feel that it's good to have anti-mashing in the game, but it doesn't make sense to have anti-mashing when there's nothing on screen. If you don't know what anti-mashing is, mashing is just doing this, like randomly anyhow pressing keys like this. That's mashing. Video games have anti-mashing mechanisms to stop you from, you know, just doing this and hitting everything because that's not really actually playing the game properly. So let's take a look. Oh, they still have the anti-mashing. Yeah, this is not good. I noticed Robeats also has this issue. Let me check for real if this is fixed. The inputs at least. It seems that offset is still a little bit early, I think. Because it seems that the notes, um, they move down a little too early. I don't know if you're hitting all, all sick. I want to get perfect. I was hitting good on that last note, I think. Okay, the offset is still too early. How do I explain this? So I'm pressing my keys to the time of the song, which is the correct offset. Let me check this. Change difficulty, toggle practice mode. Oh, they have a practice mode. Practice mode is, is welcome, for sure. I'm going to press the keys on time, and you guys will see... It's all good. Even though you can hear the taps or the sounds to the music. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit according to what the game thinks I'm supposed to press. Okay, and I'll change at the drop. So it looks like for their older songs, the offset is still too early. And I need to test it for the new song as well. Okay, now I'll hit it on time. I'll hit it according to what the game thinks, which is early. And that's what they think is, is how the song sounds like in, according to the key tabs, which is kinda wrong. To be honest, I think all the charts will be fixed as long as you just shifted offset early. If you don't understand what offset is, basically is where the notes are in according to the song. So offset would be changing when the notes come according to the song. If I set the offset early, right, the notes come earlier. So what's wrong with the game right now is that the notes are coming too quickly. If the notes were actually on time with the song, right, they're supposed to be later. <laughs> so yeah. It's not exactly a bad thing when you remember this whole thing was made by only four people and only coded by one. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just pointing out what's... Gotta love the mini music. Mm. It happens that there are mistakes or problems. And I'm just pointing them out. There's nothing wrong with like, I know that this is made by only a few people. Okay, but let's test if this song has offset issues or if they fixed them this one. Oh my god, I hit- I, the, the, the entire section was full good. Uh, the entire game has offset that's set too early. Why is the score still at zero? Wait, you're right. My score is still zero. <laughs> nice. Okay guys, let's go check out the, the cutscenes at least. I want to take a look at them. They have voices. Well, well, well. What do we got here? We should just kill you, but... What the hell, it's been a boring day. Let's see what you got. Okay, not gonna lie, this actually does bang though. Oh my god! Good, pretty tight bars for a little dude who's sipping over an ugly, boring I... little teenager that wears her mom's clothes. <laughs> okay, okay, now that I hear the songs properly, they kinda bang though. <laughs> they bang, they bang. God effing damn it. Well played, you little <laughs> But this is war, and in war, people die. Man, get rid of fire. Sorry, no prob for you this year. Ha ha ha! Ah, look who it is, your sexually ambiguous, angry little friend. Don't you have a school to shoot up? There's one way to settle this. Let's rock! You little <laughs> You little Okay, that was kind of funny, not gonna lie. It wasn't funny. 
But it was also kind of funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, one thing I wish they had was subtitles. Okay, you know what? There's no reason for this game to have subtitles, okay? Why would a deaf person play a rhythm game? Like, why would a deaf person watch my videos either? Why do I subtitle everything? I kind of like how Pico showed up though. It was kind of quite, quite cool. Okay, so I should probably just boil down my thoughts of the week 7. I don't really know what to say. I think week 7 is alright. <laughs> I suppose the game did exceed my expectation that it did at a down scroll. You know, I expected them to fix the keybinds, but I did not expect them to add down scroll, which is a massive improvement. <laughs> the only thing I can ask left from the game is offset. There is no offset in the game. I don't know if the whole 60 FPS thing on Friday Night Funkin' is because it's the web version. Because even before the week 7 update, I heard that the game literally ran better if you ran it on your web browser instead of the downloaded version. So I don't know if they actually did fix the inputs. Did they fix the inputs or is it because they forced it out on the web version which now everyone tries the new web version which is better because it has more FPS. The animation in week 7 is much better. I like that. I didn't expect voice acting. Another thing is that on week 7 itself, it's hard to tell when you're hitting sick or good because they positioned the sick or good kind of behind the health bar which is not great. They are still missing a scoreboard which is a shame because you kind of want to know how many times you missed, you know? This is something they have in mods that they added so the game kind of needs it. What if they got rhythm gamers to play test? Honestly, it would not be hard for them to find a rhythm gamer to play test the game. For the most part, I'm sure many people who flood their DMs are people who are huge fans of Friday Night Funkins than people who are more well-versed in rhythm games. Because people who are really well-versed in rhythm games and charting, they wouldn't be spending their time on Friday Night Funkin' actually. Even the people who made Witty Mod and fixed the inputs and everything, they do like Eterna, but they're not like hardcore into Eterna charting. Which is kind of why Witty's charting kind of came out wonky and they wanted to make a better Witty mod or like a better charted mod in the future. Because they do like Eterna but generally anyone who kind of like is really good at, at all these 4 key rhythm game stuff they wouldn't really spend time on uh, Friday Night Funkin it's true <laughs> it's the unfortunate reality actually but the good thing about Friday Night Funkin is that straight up it's popular because anyone can play it <laughs> this is gonna come out really unexpected from me but I really liked the animation when you hit a sick on the arrows I've always been a huge fan of exploding animations on buttons keys or circles when it comes to rhythm games because it gives the player a lot of feedback and when it gives them feedback it makes the experience just so much more comfortable they really didn't need to add in the animation but they did and honestly it makes it feel so much nicer when you're playing the game the update was good because they fixed the inputs the update was not so great because they didn't completely remove the anti-meshing thing because prior right there should not be anti-meshing when there are no notes on screen <laughs> There are options now, which is a good thing. The naughtiness option is so sus though. <laughs> By the way, this is my Pocket Vortex. It's my controller I use to push the keys. It's really nothing amazing. It's just keys. It's literally just a mechanical keyboard. Okay, it's, it's nothing special. I used it because I didn't want to use my actual keyboard to play it. So if you were wondering, that's, that's it. Charting-wise, for the week 7, there is another thing I noticed. There are no chords in any of the songs. So this means that they haven't updated the engine to allow more than one note on the screen at a time. So it means that you can't put in chords or basically anything that would test like chord splitting probably because the engine doesn't let it you know I like that about Friday Night Funkin the fact that it's one key at a time makes it easier to pick up and more enjoyable to me at least to be honest I feel like on the harder levels it should have at least like two keys at some spots because it would have fit the song so much better like I'm seeing it from a purely like charting perspective let me just explain to you guys okay I'm just gonna play one Osumania map for you guys and you guys will see what I mean by like you can make something easy with chords but they will still fit the song and it'll be nice. Let's take this for example, okay? You can see that, right? The fact that there's multiple keys. When you use two keys is when you accentuate like a certain like part of the song. Like if you hear a beat that goes more mm, than usual, right? You can use like two Two keys and the fact that Friday Night Funkin like the game engine doesn't let you do that so it makes certain parts that go like boom in in songs to not stand out as much as it could you know like this is the easy chart but it's well charted I, I see that this is something I can see in Friday Night Funkin in terms of difficulty it's still not all too crazy there but it fits the song so well it's very comfortable to play it's uh it's really good this is the kind of things I want to see from the game, you know?
um, my off on this is too, too late. Yeah. But yes, that's basically what I feel towards Friday Night Funkin. Although the UG, 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 is that the proper way to say it? Well, it was one of the best charted out the three, the newer ones. And I think generally the charting is kind of what I expected from Friday Night Funkin. It's not terrible. It's not great either. It could be better, but that's about it. All right, so I'm editing the video right now. And basically, I just wanted to add on a couple of things to the end of this video. Personally, all the problems I have with this game is just a straight up offset and the scoreboard screen. And there is one extra optional thing that I would like the creators to add. And that would be a dedicated screen just to add in mods. So this way, modders aren't replacing existing assets in the game, but they can just add it in as like, uh, you know how like extra charts work on other games and all like you know maps on osu i feel like that sort of thing would be so useful for modders and it would really push the modding scene to completely something else other rhythm gamers they pointed out that friday night funkin doesn't have proper color arrows in other rhythm games like that mania eterna and ddr the arrows are colored according to their uh, i think it was time signature or something and people are pointing out that the game didn't have it and that's why they didn't like it and i don't think there's a need for colored arrows i feel like if you change the arrow colors to something else right now the game loses kind of its charm all my requests for changes in this game is all quite easy to change. The good thing is that nothing core-wise in this game needs to be changed because it works so well. And I wanted to point out, this is a uh, 7th Beat. This is the creator of A Dance of Fire Nights and Rhythm Doctor. Great games. He made this really good thread talking about Friday Night Funkin. He was saying a few things about how the game works so well. Yeah, this, this is something that I never thought about when it came to Friday Night Funkin. So it's kind of good to have the whole, your enemy is singing first and then you repeat what they're doing it's really smart actually i never thought about it that way and it's probably why friday Night funkin is so beginner friendly actually it's really smart uh, i would really like to see this game succeed if everything works out i honestly could see myself putting the game from e to c next to Run doctor and dance with an ice or maybe a d plus i'm not sure because i mean you can't hate this game mechanically it's literally just four keys i pointed it out myself there's a lot of things you can fix in this game and i honestly think that it's not that bad really <laughs> i'm honestly why friday night funkin is great a lot of people will not understand uh, have you ever wanted to do something but then you didn't want to do it because you saw how much commitment it would take like for example you wanted to learn how to draw you wanted to learn how to fight you wanted to go to the gym maybe you just want to do something as simple as watch a show but then you didn't do it because you saw how much work there is in it i want to watch one piece but there's like hundreds of episodes so I don't want to watch it. I want to watch Jojo, but there's so many seasons and I'm going to have to start from square one. That's exactly how rhythm games look like to normal people, you know? And Friday Night Funkin, it doesn't do that to people. So, you know, putting it in this way, it, it kind of gives you the perspective. Because the thing is, we are also used to rhythm games that we kind of forget, actually. And when I actually put it that way to myself, I, it kind of just dawned on to me, oh, whoa, that's actually why it's popular. <laughs> there we go. I hope, I hope this game succeeds. Thanks for watching.